Hey, meteorologist Pete Mangione here, and we're talking about exactly why the storm got so strong overnight into early this morning. Well, let's take you back in time to around 10 or 11 p.m., and this is what the radar looked like. And you can see those red and yellow streaks indicating the very heavy downpours. Now, what can happen in these situations is you get what's called a low level jet. That's a very fast moving current of air, usually a few thousand feet above our heads. And when you get these downpours, they can sometimes drag down some of that higher momentum wind gust activity. And that's sort of what happened last night. That's one of the reasons we saw those very, very strong bursts of winds coming on through. Now, let's walk you through the past 12 hours or so. And as we do that, you could see the uh, downpours bringing some very strong wind gusts into the early morning hours of this morning and then most of that rain moving away. And another reason we saw very, very strong winds is that the pressure was dropping very, very quickly. Yes, you've heard the term bomb cyclone, bombogenesis, and technically that, that is what we had. That's when the pressure drops more than or at least 24 millibars in 24 hours. When you get pressure that's dropping that quickly, that often can generate very, very strong winds. In fact, it always does. And that's another reason we had very strong winds overnight into this morning. Now, what will happen the rest of the day is that even though we don't have those really intense bursts of winds, we'll be on the back side of this low pressure. And now we're going to go through a longer duration period of wind gusts, maybe not quite as strong as what we had last night, but the amount of time that those winds will be uh, gusting may be quite long into the afternoon. And we still could get some gusts between 30, 40, 50, even 60 miles an hour along the coast. That's why we still have wind advisories in place. And for some portions of Massachusetts, high wind warnings. That's generally what happened last night. We'll be posting more updates here on WPRI.com and throughout the day.